with the financial aid that I received from the foundation, I was able to not worry about the cost of paying tuition, which really helped make that um, dream of going to Madison far more achievable. I'm actually um, a triple major, so I'm studying math, computer science, and economics. I've always liked math, so I knew I was going to regret if I never got the math degree. And I want to become an economist, so that's why I'm studying economics. Because I don't have the financial stress, I'm able to focus on doing three majors instead of, you know, getting a job or looking for other sources of funding. Every year, a few students will send us a letter and state their appreciation or send us a grad picture. And it's so nice to know that they can graduate from college and the financial burden is lessened because we were able to help them. And to see their successes, it's just amazing the things that the people from Superior Wisconsin have done. I think having access to the uh, Superior Scholarship Foundation was really huge for me in um, being able to afford attending, like especially a private liberal arts um, college and it really alleviated a huge financial burden for me. I think also just kind of going through kind of a more rigorous application process was beneficial for you know things down the line that I would apply for um, throughout college so kind of having that experience was also um, really helpful. In about 1976 some real forward-thinking community members, businessmen and women and educators got together and they formed the School District of Superior Scholarship Foundation. There were 14 scholarships. Now, um, last year in 2022, we gave out 114 named scholarships. Having a scholarship foundation, having access to that is a really incredible opportunity, so I would encourage everyone to take advantage of that, and you know, you never know how you might benefit from the process, and. Um, I think the financial aspect is really huge and really beneficial too, so yeah, I would encourage anyone to, to go through that.